My name's Jai, Jai Waite. I'm 41 years old. I've been a quadriplegic for 17 years coming up. Oh, this is a real thing. Yeah, it's a real thing. <laughs> you know, when I get home, like, my wife's gonna go, why have you got makeup on? <laughs> What's the difference between quadriplegic and tetraplegic? Uh, well, really, you both really. Uh, no, uh, actually there is no difference. They're, they're exactly the same terminology. What happened? Well, 17 years ago, I was on my OE, traveling with some mates around Europe uh, in a van going from all the Mediterranean countries and got to Greece and we went out to an island called Eos. Last night I was there, I was uh, got waist deep into the water and the night before there'd been a bit of a storm so the surface under the sea had changed a bit and I just went to duck dive through the wave and just as I duck dive, went straight in and hit a sandbar just under, uh, underneath the waves. And what that did is force my neck down like that and just fractured my fifth vertebrae. What, what was dating like when you were younger? Oh, well, you know, if I compare to before my accident, after my accident, I think actually dating after my accident was a lot easier. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, approach, approaching girls or, you know, in a wheelchair, I think you're a lot less threatening. And, you know, I found like when I met my wife, it was great. And I, I think, you know, she never felt like um, in our relationship that I was, you know, we're always equal in a way. You know, there's never, I was never the big strong male, you know, because I've got some physical limit limitations. So I, I think it works well. Hey, what's your best pickup line? So, like, I mean, I've been married for like oh, 15 years. I have no use for pickup lines. Damn, sorry, guys. No answer for that one. Where do you get information about getting support carers or carers? Uh, well, for me, I have an agency that does all my, um, supplies all my carers. And they're really good, you know, they'll make sure it's, you know, the person's gonna fit in with me and my family. And we have a little bit of a small interview process, usually a meet and greet, and, you know, they work out, they work out, and pretty much uh, everyone I've had's been awesome, so. Uh. What was the hardest thing about becoming a tetraplegic? I think it is, you know, it's that initial acceptance of who you are. And for me, that took about six months. And, you know, I can pretty clearly remember the day of like, it was summer, you know, all my friends had gone off to the beach, something we all used to do, and what I would have just happily done before. And the realization of limitation. And I think, uh, I mean, that there, I think, you know, I dwelt on it for a bit. But, uh, you know, I was pretty lucky to have some people in my life at the time that kind of pulled me around and out of it. What would be your advice to someone who's recently become a tetraplegic? Oh, I, I would say, you know, you have to take time just to uh, gather your, I think gather yourself and kind of take stock of where, you know, what's happened. I think, uh, you know, it's all good and well, uh, aiming for, you know, all these lofty goals, but I think, until you accept who you are and accept you know, what you can do, uh, yeah, I think then you can move on, you know, and start looking at bigger, bigger picture. Can you have kids? Yes, totally possible. I have two. Uh, they're both two girls, age four and seven, and they are awesome. They're such good kids, and you know, I think they always have questions about my, you know, dad while you're in a wheelchair, and you know. Why can't you do this? But you know, I think uh, you know. I think all the things I can do for them, and you know, you can love your kids just the same as anyone else. Yeah, and then I just get you to come out. Sweet. Now. Yeah. Sweet. Thank you. Right. Let's get out of here. Awesome.